cooking is very adventurous and I've never thought about Aki ice cream. Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Chef Dakers. I am Chef Anthony Dakers and this is What's Cooking for Summer Season 2 Episode 3. If you miss Episode 1 and 2, click the link in my description to watch Chef Dewey and Chef Demetrius. In the kitchen this week we have Chef Ramesh the first chef to make Aki ice cream. Today, he's not going to make Aki ice cream. We're going to see what else he have up his sleeve. So if you want to see what's cooking, stay tuned. Don't move, we'll be right back. I am Chef Ramesh D'Souza. Today we are here in my kitchen and we are going to jerk chicken and festival. I'm that chef that likes to be creative when I'm cooking. The first chef to make Aki ice cream. But today we are not making Aki ice cream. We are jerking chicken. Here we have the chicken. Well seasoned up and thing already cut up and clean up. Season it to the jerk season with garlic powder, MSG. Any season you want to add upon it. You know, it's all up to you. So over here, we have the grill. Already light and thing, heat it up. Only thing left for us to do is do the jerkings. What inspired me to start cooking is where I live now, it's a restaurant, so I grew up in the cooking industry. As it, I just have a passion from it, see? Just continuously flip them. So, this is the first flip we're giving them, and there's a lot more flip to come. Then flip them, flip them, flip them. And guys, this cement is so good right now. And some part in the grill, the flame is higher, and that's why some part of the chicken is darker than some. So the chickens are almost finished jerking, and now we're going to move to the festivals. Zin. So right here we have the festivals. Though already make a, a, a thing already. You know, flour, calm and sugar. A little bit of cinnamon powder for the taste. Gonna test the oil before we add any festivals to it. You know? Add a little piece to that. Alright. The oil is perfect. Zin. So now we're going to make the festivals. Zin. So when making festivals, this is the perfect dough right here. You don't want your dough like regular dumping dough. You see it? You just want it soft like this. This is perfect. You see it? Soft and watery. This is sticking all over my fingers. So what I have to do is coat my fingers in some flour. Pop it up. Yeah, man. See me? Rolling them up. See me? Roll it out. Roll it out. And this, to be honest, this is kind of too big. See me? You pop it in half. See me? Roll it out. Flat it out. See me? Just like that. This right here. See me? We have reached to the end 
the part that you all have been waiting for and I can't wait to dive in dive in this I don't need, I don't even know where to start people yeah first of all good chef talk to me what's mm. it like being a chef really for you good you know you know I'm passionate about it so I feel like I'm gonna enjoy the journey in your household yeah you do you always like cook often yeah Mm hmm Cooking. And your people them enjoy the cooking, don't? Yeah man. But most because I'm enjoying this right now. People, this is very, very, very lovely. And tell me more about the sauce. We didn't catch it on camera, but you said um, it's your secret sauce. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about it. Well, at first, you know, mm -hmm. we did make the sauce and put it on YouTube, but we never detailed everything. Yeah. Thing, but Besides, I'm going to turn the sauce here, yeah? the signature sauce. So, remove the video and the recipe you put up. Yeah. You know what? The sauce is good. And Guinness that sauce. Yeah. You can identify the Guinness. You know, Guinness is a bitterish liquor. But mm -hmm. you can't. It doesn't come with a bitter aftertaste. No. Mm -hmm. So, the sauce is just sweet and nice. Guinness that sauce because you can taste the spices. And this sauce, it complements the jerk chicken a lot. But tell me more, um, what else this sauce can be served with? You can serve with fried chicken, you know, fried food. Mm -hmm. you know, more, one thing I know about the fried rice, but from my meat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It means that you can always, it means that you always come up with different and new recipes. Mm -hmm. Do you plan to put this ice cream on the market? Yes, definitely. No? And what on. are your feedback like about um, this ice cream? Well, the first time I make it, first time I make the Aki ice cream, feedback on social media, mm -hmm. terrible. So, are you you're thinking of doing other ice cream with other... <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I'm Definitely. looking forward for a cucumber ice cream. Cucumber, cucumber ice cream? Mm -hmm. Easy. Alright. So. Chef Ramesh, guys, um, if you want to find him on social, you can click the link. All his information, his details will be in the description below. And definitely, you should try out that Aki ice cream. Chef, do you do like catering? Well, I'm thinking about it, but right now, true, I have a current job and I mm -hmm. don't want to quit my job to something where no sure. So, okay, makes sense. In due time, catering. Almost. Makes sense. If you want to try a Chef Ramesh Aki ice cream, you can give him a call or hit him up on Instagram. Until next time, I am Chef Anthony Baker's.